Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Mike. I'm Charlie. And today we are doing filter day. We got intake filter for the Ram TRX as well as a cabin filter. The Ram does take two ginormous air filters for the engine and we've got this. Uh, we decided to go with an aftermarket cabin filter. It was about I don't know, a quarter of the price of the factory one and I'm I'm sure it's comparable. This we want with Mopar. So we're gonna do filter day. This will be how to change your cabin filter and how to change your engine filters. You ready? Yep. All right, so the cabin filter is located behind the glove box. So step one, let's empty the glove box, Charlie. I don't know if we have much in here besides the owner's manual or any of that, look at that, easy peasy. So now that the glove box is empty, we need to remove this thing. So if you push up on the glove box a little bit. And pull it towards you. Pull that towards you, it's gonna release and we'll come out from the inside, release from the inside. There it goes. And then it's basically gonna zip up into the glove box. Now, there's two locking tabs. You have one there and there's one on the driver's side. So you can basically squeeze the glove box together. It's, it's tough, you're gonna give it a good squeeze and you're basically gonna flex the glove box to work around these tabs. Kinda got this, this one out. That one has that cut out which makes it a little easier. There you go. Now the whole glove box will, will just remove like that. Your cabin air filter is up here. Now one thing you do want to pay attention to is the, the airflow. So there's, there's a little clip on each side, which is going to be hard to get on camera. Take your both hands and unclip it. So if you look on here, airflow goes down. Let's see what this guy looks like. Definitely not horrible, but we'll show you in comparison to the new one. I will say this is a factory one. It definitely seems to have, I would say, more filtration than this one. Certainly more pleats. So maybe I should have cheaped out. I don't know. At any rate, I could probably change this one three or four times in comparison. So if you look, we've got airflow on here. So when we put that back in, you want it to match your airflow. So that's going to it's gonna point down. So we'll go ahead and slide that guy back in there, just like so. Airflow down. And then these, these are the clips that were shown earlier. You squeeze them on both sides. So when I go to put this on, it should just snap right back into place, just like so. Now, when we go to put the glove box back on, this is that pull cord we were looking at. So it's basically kind of like a keyed thing in the glove box. When you pull it forward, it goes into a bigger hole and then it pulls back in. So you're gonna start by putting the bottom in first, these, there you go. Now we're gonna grab this guy and we're gonna, if you can see from the inside, we're gonna start at the bottom and it'll go into that little keyed spot right there. Is it all the way in, Charlie? Looks like it. And now, basically, just push up on it, and you're all good. You're back to, back to new. Put your stuff back in, and uh, you're good. So just like that, you can change your cabin filter. What's next, Joey? The engine air filter. All right, let's hit those next. Step one, pop the hood. All right, so under here, Charlie, let's pop this guy off. Lift up there. Lift up on your side. And then pull it. Straight back. Yeah, go ahead and set that on the ground. Got it? Yep. Still one of my favorite parts. Sorry, Ford owners, but that's a good one. If you've never seen that Easter egg before, that's a good one. So now the air filter sits under here. So we're going to have to get a, uh, a socket and uh, we'll unzip these and the air filters sit under here and we're going to take these two screws out here. So these hose clamps? Yep. Eight millimeter, we're gonna take all these out all the way around the entire air box. Charlie's gonna loosen the hose clamps here on the intake hoses. They don't need to come all the way off, just loosen them up real good. Come get all your screws out, you're just gonna lift that up. And here are the filters, they look good from that side. That actually just fell out, but there's some bees and some nasty stuff in here. Truck's got 18,000 miles on it. And I spent a lot of time at this boat launch. It's pretty dusty. 
you got to remember the truck does have an active intake, so everything that comes in through that hood comes down into these filters. That's actually a real working intake up on that hood. So we're going to pop some new filters in and put it all back together. All right, so we got the old filter out. This is what it looks like. That's the new filter. Quite a big difference, I would say. Guys, here's the part number 53011248. AB01 if you are looking for it. Uh, I did clean this out. I actually took this whole thing out. I hosed it out uh, and uh, ready for the new filters. So we're gonna drop these in and we're gonna put it all back together. So one thing I should mention is these basically only go in one way. You'll notice you got the filter exposed on the bottom versus the top. So on that exposed filter, it fits in there nice and snug. If you were to try and put it in upside down, it, it doesn't fit. So you can only put these in one way. Now that's obviously, this is a Ram TRX. So this has got an absolute ton of air intake. I mean, most normal vehicles, that one filter is larger than some, uh, some four or six cylinder uh, air filters. So this one takes two just due to the, the volume of the air intake. So there we go. I put this down here. My wife was cutting the grass. I didn't want anything to go in the in the intake. So we're going to put the uh, top back on and we're going to button her all up. So make sure you get your intake tube. It should kind of land up on the stops here. And then you're going to want to go ahead and tighten that up. Uh, make sure you get it pretty snug. You don't want that coming loose. And for what it's worth, check the side that goes into the uh, engine side when you get the uh, the box off and you're, and you're able to check under there. Mine was actually a little on the loose side, so I'm glad I caught it and was able to tighten it up. The other piece of advice I'm going to give you, when you put your screws back in, or take them out for that matter, uh, hang on to them. On the back side, I dropped one. Guys, it went down be <laughs> sitting on the head of the engine. I'm gonna take all this whole thing out to fish out my screw with this tiny little magnet. So. Let my mistake uh, be a lesson learned for you. Hang on to those screws, especially the ones on the backside, because when they fall down in there, it's like Plinko and you may never see it again. So once you've got all of your 10 screws buttoned up, you're gonna go ahead and put your cover on, push it in the back holes first, push it towards the windshield, and then put it on there. Guys, that is it. That is how you change your cabin filter as well as your air filter. Cabin filter should work on many of the, uh, the Rams 19 to current, and the air filter is gonna be specific to that Ram TRX. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you on the next video.